We're back and we're celebrating Memphis at CW30 and this month we're honoring our educators. These days the need for teachers is great and especially for black male educators here and across the U.S. Man Up is a Memphis organization working to fill the gap and bring a more diverse school staff. Rebecca Butcher reports the group is celebrating the placement of over 100 black male teachers this weekend. Walk into most classrooms in Memphis and you'll see a pattern. It's something powerful about having a 12 or 13 year experience in a space where they're teaching and talking about everybody belonging. And I can go through that whole system and not realize that I was really absent. Not many black male teachers, says Dr. Patrick Washington, who's not only principal of Promise Academy, but founder of Man Up, a nonprofit aimed at increasing the number of black male teachers in schools. If the Grizzlies were 75% white, or the Titans with 75% women, that would be a discussion. High school graduation rates, crime in the community, those things are not, uh, they're not disconnected. Currently, less than 2% of teachers are men of color in the U.S., a reality Dr. Washington tells me is caused by low pay, low career status, and fear of false accusations. If I'm being completely honest, there was time when I was ready to walk away from the profession and find something else. I heard Dr. Washington talk and it made me feel relevant. It made me as a black male teacher feel important. Hashim Jones teaches fourth and fifth grade science at Promise Academy Spring Hill. After joining Man Up, Jones was able to share both frustrations and joys of the profession. Kids having, coming into your classroom, being two to three years behind in math or reading. Sometimes as a black male teacher, you are automatically placed as a disciplinarian for the school. Jones, in his second year as a Man Up Fellow, says he was inspired to teach after seeing kids fall through the education system. I was lucky enough to have a job working as a juvenile detention um, counselor where I saw children from the ages 13 to 18 who were illiterate. They, they could not read, they could not write um, very well at all. And I knew I wanted to do something and I didn't want to wait until they got in that situation. Now giving mentorship to kids at his former elementary school. Today, you can see it on their faces, especially on the days you may miss, they come back, why weren't you here? They're almost dependent on you as um, uh, stability in their life. In Memphis, I'm Rebecca Butcher.